Have you been frustrated trying to get the D75 connected to a Linux Mint machine? Today, we're going to simplify things. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick, before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Getting the D75 to work with Linux Mint is not terribly difficult, but there are a lot of different commands that you need to remember in order to make each thing happen. Well, I got tired of trying to remember those commands, and guys, I live in Linux every single day, but I got tired of it. So I wrote a script to simplify things. Now, I know this works with the D75. It should work with the D74 as well because they are very, very similar radios. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and let me show you guys how to get this installed. The first thing we want to do is head over to GitHub so that we can get a copy of this script. And I'm going to leave a link to this down in the description below so you can click on it and come right to this page. Now, something I do want to point out, there is quite a few help objects all listed right at the top of this file. So you might want to read through those before you get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that address and I'm going to copy it. So just pressing Control C on the keyboard. Next, we need to move into the terminal. So go ahead and open up your terminal. When you get there, we're going to type CD space bin. That will change us into the bin directory. Once we're inside of that, we're going to run wget space, and we're going to paste in that address that we just copied. Let's go ahead and press return. Give that just a second to download. All right, let's clear the screen. And the next thing I want to run, let's do an ls command to list out that directory, and you'll see the D75 connect right there. Let's go ahead and make that executable by running chmod plus x space d75 hyphen connect. Go ahead and press return. If we run the ls command again, you'll now see that d75 connect is in green, indicating that it's executable. Now, first thing we need to do before we actually run the script is we're going to create a menu item that's built into the script. So let's run d75 hyphen connect space menu. Go ahead and press return, and you will see that the menu item has been created. Now, don't worry about this no file uh, or directory right now. That is because we haven't defined a MAC address to go along with uh, this application. We'll do that here in just a second. Now, we can start the D75 Connect script from the command line by just running D75 hyphen connect or you can use uh, the menu shortcut that we just created. So I'm going to go ahead and use that menu shortcut item. And the first thing you're going to see is no device defined. Run scan before connecting. So just go ahead and click OK right here, and that's going to bring up the D75 Connect script. You'll notice our MAC address uh, is empty right here. That's where we need to go ahead and scan for the D75 or D74, either one, so we can grab that MAC address. So go ahead and press scan, and it will tell you to put the radio in pairing mode. Once you've got the radio in pairing mode, just go ahead and click OK, and it's going to take this about 20 seconds to complete, and we should get a new box that pops up with the D75 listed. Once that box pops up, you just want to select the MAC address that goes along with the D75. Now, if this doesn't work on the first scan, sometimes it will take uh, a couple of scans to get it to uh, recognize the device. So just go ahead and run that scan again. Be sure that the radio is in pairing mode. Once we've got that, we're going to highlight it and then click OK. That's going to dump us back out to the first screen where you can see that that MAC address is now defined. At this point, you are ready to create uh, one of the three connections here. Uh, for WinLink, you will need to make sure that PAT WinLink and AX25 is installed. Before you use YAC, you do need to make sure that YAC is installed. And before you attempt a GPS connection, you do need to make sure that GPSD is installed on your Linux Mint machine. Let's go ahead and give the GPS a try first. So let's click on GPS, 
It's going to give us just a little bit of information here to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled and the TNC is disabled. Then press OK. It'll let you know that the GPS has been updated. Let's open that terminal window again. And let's go ahead and run C GPS. And you'll see that we are indeed getting GPS data into the terminal window. We can press Q here to get out of this. And I'll just get that terminal window out of the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and kill the connection. Remember, you can only use one thing at a time. So you can't use GPS and YAC and WinLink all at the same time with this. We're doing everything over Bluetooth. So in this particular case, we are limited to only running one thing at a time over Bluetooth. Now I went ahead and set the radio to 144.390 and turned on the KISS modem. Let's go ahead and give YAC a try. The first time YAC opens up, you may need to configure YAC for the D75. I have done a video on how to do that inside of YAC. I will link to that down in the description below. Let's go ahead and pull up a stations list here, and you will see that we are already getting data into YAC. All right, so for the last piece of the puzzle here today, we do want to make a WinLink connection with the D75 over Bluetooth. Make sure you've run the kill connection uh, right here to close everything out if you were using YAC, and then we can go ahead and click WinLink. It's going to give you a little bit of information here telling you to be sure the Bluetooth and the TNC are both enabled, and then press OK. Let's go ahead and press OK and give this just a second to boot up. It will go ahead and open the PAT mailbox for you. So let's go ahead and see if we can make a connection. I'm going to use AX25 plus Linux right here in the transport. The station that we're going to try to connect to is WC4 EOC-8. Let's go ahead and make a quick connection. And that's how easy it is to make a WinLink connection with the D75 and the D75 Connect script. Now that I'm done, I can just go ahead and kill that connection, turn off the radio, and I'm ready to go for the next time. Now the next time you come in to do this, the MAC address will already be stored, so you will not have to do another scan unless you change uh, radios. Maybe you've got a D74 and a D75, then you would have to perform a new scan if you wanted to switch between those two radios. Now you know how to install D75 Connect and make it super simple to work with the Kenwood D75 and Linux Mint. We can do all kinds of cool tricks with it. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.